Hey guys, this is Inferno Bird here with a routing method for the Samsung Galaxy S3 for the American carriers only. This is not for the i9 300 version. If you have the Verizon uh, Samsung Galaxy S3, this will not work unless you are unlocked. So, you may be asking, why are you doing another routing video? Aren't you making too many? And the answer is, no, you can never have too many routing videos. So the first thing you want to do is press your home button, unlock it, and then go to your menu, and then hit settings, and then go all the way down to about device, and make sure that your model number is not the i9300 version. So once you've verified that, you can back out, go ahead and kill your phone for a minute, and by kill, I don't mean really kill it guys, really, come on, and we go to our computer. Okay, and then you want to go to Samsung's website, which I'm using the easy way, just type in Samsung to Google, and then hit cell phones, and then it'll bring up this, and you go over here to the right side, and it'll say support, click that, scroll down under right here where it has mobile, you want to click on cell phones, and then you want to select your carrier. So they got AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon. Um, I'm going with Sprint because I have a Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. And then you want to find your model number. Mine is the SPH L710. If you are, if you have one from Sprint, yours is the same thing. It's SPH L710. So anyway, once you go to that. You hit manuals and downloads, and you want to go right here to software, and then you want to go right here, device USB driver, and then you want to download that. I already downloaded it, I'm not going to do it again, but you want to download it and install the EXE. Whenever you do that, you can exit out and go ahead and plug in your phone. When you got your phone plugged in, you want to pull the top bar down and under um, where it says, hold on one second, take it off the manual focus. Okay, here we go. All right, under where it says um, what it's connected as, make sure it's connected as a media device. Um, so you have these two options, make sure it's connected as a media device. And you can back out and set it down. Go to your computer, and under any window, um, under any, any window, make sure that it is plugged into here as well, and you'll see the model number. So right there you can see the SPH L710. So, once you verify that that is all hooked up correctly, uh, you want to go ahead and download the first link I have, which is the zip file. Um, it's from Team Epic Win. Uh, so, a big shout out to them. Thank you very much. Um, you guys are great and keep up the good work. So, thanks. Um, so, after you download that, Alright, so once that pops up, um, I would just save it to your desktop, hit save, and it should be finished downloading fairly quickly. Um, and there you have it, it's right there. Um, you want to open up your phone folder again, and you can find it by going under computer, scrolling down, there it is, and just double clicking. Um, you can put it on the phone or the SD card. I have an SD card, so I'm going to put it in there. Um, and you want to drag and drop. You want to just drag it and drop it straight in there. So, I already have one in there, so obviously I don't want to do it again. <laughs> anyway, once you make sure that's in there, you can go ahead and turn off your phone. So unlock it. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I had to uh, shut it down. Okay, so power off. Okay. And there we go. So once it's powered off, you can go ahead and download the second download and the link, which will be 
Odin, the latest version of Odin. So once you hit download, I again download it to the desktop so you can find it easy. Um, there we go. Once you got that downloaded, you want to just unzip it. So extract all. Um, if you need to, you may need to download a program that can unzip files. Um, so I recommend 7-Zip or WinRAR. Anyway, you want to hit Extract, open that up, and then right here where you have Odin, you want to right click and say Run as Administrator. Hit Yes. And once that's up, you can go to the third download in the link, which will be the Clockwork Mod Recovery LTE SGS3 version 5.tar.md5. Again, save it to your desktop so you can navigate to it easily. Go ahead and minimize your browser. And under here, you want to uncheck Auto Reboot and uncheck F Reset Time. So um, you want to uncheck those and go to your PDA slot and navigate to that MD5 file that we just downloaded on your desktop. Um, so it's right there. Make sure that goes in that slot. And then you want to go to your phone and make sure you hit the volume down, the center button, which is the home button, and your power button all at the same time and hold those down. until you get to that screen. And once you get to that... What the heck happened? I'm sorry, you must unplug first. So unplug it, then hit your volume down, home, and power all at the same time and hold them. And then whenever you get to that screen, hit the volume up, and now you are in Odin mode. Now, plug in your phone to your USB to your computer. Like so. And whenever you do that, this little, you, you can put your phone down. And this little box right here should light up. It should say COM something. It doesn't matter what the number is, as long as it says COM something. Um, so once it says that, you want to go ahead and click start and it shouldn't take long at all. Matter of fact mine took um, about five or six seconds, seven seconds. So after that's done go to your phone, go ahead and unplug it after it says pass and then you want to take off the back while it's still on. Don't do anything else until you take out your battery. So go ahead and take out your battery with that still on there. Put it back in. Snap the back back on. And then from there go ahead and hit your volume up, power, and home all at the same time until your first screen lights up and then let go. So as soon as you see that, let go. and you will get into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So, here's Clockwork Mod Recovery and um, you want to move the highlighter, I call it a highlighter, up and down with the volume keys and you want to select them, meaning open them, with the power button. So, knowing that, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing exactly. Alright, so you want to go to or navigate with your power, or your volume keys and navigate to um, install zip from SD card and choose zip from SD card and I, I'm choosing mine from the external SD card. If you put the file, the zip file on your internal phone or the, the phone itself and not the external SD card you can go choose zip from internal SD card. So that's the one that you would want if you were choosing that one. So anyway, go to choose zip from SD card and then 
Install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Okay, here we go. And then go to that Team Epic root from recovery. There you go. And then once you get to that, hit power. Navigate to the yes and hit power. And it should do it. And once you are done with that, um, you want to go back and reboot system now. And you hit the power button to select reboot system now. So once it reboots, you should have super user application installed. Um, you should have super user permissions. So anyway, I'll just wait till it votes. Okay, there we go. So, oops. Go to touch whiz. And in your app drawer, you should now have a super user. So navigate through your apps, and there it is, super user. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. It says it's new, okay. Um, and there we have our super user. Um, you can download an application from the market that requires root access, which I downloaded root checker basic to verify that you have root access and there we go. Congratulations, you have root access. So there you go, it's that easy. Um, if you like my videos, if you like my commentary, um, if you found me fun and exciting, and even though this wasn't an exciting video, <laughs> please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Subscribe button's up here. Um, the, give me a thumbs up down there. Uh, share with your friends on Facebook, Google, and Twitter. And I appreciate it, guys. Um, I will include a link in the description as well if you want the i9300 version for the unlocked uh, Samsung Galaxy S3. That means it can go for any carrier. So I'll include a link for that if you want to buy it on Amazon. Keep an eye out for that. All right. Thanks, guys. Peace out.